called Thailand Pass Warriors. As promised in the video part one yesterday, that today I'm going to show you how to prepare documents to upload on the Thailand Pass system. So let me share my screen. So this is going to be more like a lecture um, referring to yesterday. Clip um, part one is about tips for submission. And I'm going to post the link for the first clip in the comment. And then today we are going to talk about document preparation as you need to upload stuff. So three things today that we are going to learn um, some of you might have already known how to do it, but then some might not know. So I will show you how to do these today. First, we are going to convert the file type from PDF to picture files because PDF is not allowed. So we have to convert it to picture files such as JPEG or PNG. And then personally, when I submitted it, I used PNG and then it works well. It went just fine. And we are going to use Adobe Acrobat. And then second, to show you how to crop picture. For example, for passport, um, in the example shown on the website, um, it says that, I'm not sure if it is recommended, but the picture that they show there is the bottom part of your passport, that you don't need to use the top part, only the bottom part is needed, that has your face and your information. So we can crop just that bottom part. And third, I'm going to show you how to reduce the file size and I will use image compressor because it is quite easy. So let's get started. First, PDF. As I do not want to show you my hotel confirmation letter, so I have chosen to use my very first article that I have written with my advisor, Stepwise Regression, and it is definitely uh, a PDF file. So, the easiest way to do it is to open it by Adobe Acrobat and then on the menu bar, click File and then Save As because we are going to save it as another type. And then select the folder. And I would recommend that you save everything into the same folder so that it will be easy when you need to drag and drop or browse file. It's just, this is the style that I've been doing stuff. Hit it. And then give it a name as this is not PDF anymore. So let's call it PNG. And then here's the key part that you need to change save as type from PDF to PNG. And then save it here. Hit save. That's it. And then let's go check. In our Thailand Pass folder. So this is our original format, which is PDF. And this is a new one that we have saved it as a PNG. And you can check the file type by right click properties. And then here it's a PNG or you can just hover your cursor over here and then it says a PNG file. Okay, the first thing is done. Second is to crop the picture. So let's see the picture here, open it. And then let's pretend that this is my passport, that I would like to select only the bottom part that has my base and information. Go here, edit and create, click it and edit with Paint 3D. And here it is. Okay. On the menu bar, hit Crop, and then minimize it. Okay, looks good. Go to Menu and then save. You can save over or you can save as. I would save as just to be sure. To make sure that you can, you will have the original file in case you do something wrong, you can always go back to the original format just to be sure. Image. And then this is the same folder that we have created. 
and give it a name. Um, has four. Let's say final. Okay. Okay. And then close it. Nope. We have already saved it. Oh, this is another picture. Nope. And then let's check. So this is the final version, which is done. Okay. And last but not least, the third thing is to reduce the file size because some of your pictures, photos might be too big and then it only allows for five megabytes. How do we do that? Let me show you the website that does that. This one is very easy. Image compressor here and this is your canvas. Let me drag and drop. Um, so let's see um, this one. Drag it in that area. Huh. It is 2.5. If it, if it was the original version of Thailand Pass, this wouldn't go through. Because at that time, the maximum size was 2 megabytes. Almost done. Okay. Okay. Then, scroll down. Um, what would you like it to be? Let's see here. And you need to drag here to adjust it. And then give it some time. Hmm, it does take some time, huh? And then, so this is 977 kilobytes. Um, let's reduce it a little bit. Okay, and um, let's suppose that we like 736 kilobytes. Let's hit apply. And after you have hit apply, scroll up. And then you're gonna see that it is reduced for 72%. Then download all. And then hit save. It's going to be in your download folder. And then I have done this before. So I have just copied and pasted that zip file here. And then this is your final product. Right click properties to check. And for the example that I did before, I made it 94 kilobytes just as an extreme example that it is super small. Okay. And you can see that it is not as crystal clear as before, as the original version was like 2.5 megabytes. Okay, so this is the last thing that I would like to show you. And remember that the new system allows for five megabytes as maximum size. And for the tips that I used yesterday on November 3rd, and then I submitted it successfully. And a minute later, I've got the confirmation email followed by the QR code eventually. So my tips are using Gmail, Make sure that you use Gmail because previously when I submitted it on November 1st, I used my Yahoo, but then it, I'm just waiting for the confirmation email like forever. And then a second thing is to use 
Chrome. Google Chrome, you will see that it's much easier. And then do not forget to ask, add spaces in your passport number because it requires 10 characters. So make sure that you add spaces. For example, if your passport number has like seven digits, put three extra spaces to make it meet 10 characters and then you're gonna be fine. Please hit subscribe. And my next video is going to be about COVID testing. And I will review all the steps that I need to go through for this journey to go back home to Thailand. So stay tuned and hit subscribe. So see you in the next clip.